Hi guys, it's me, Kinky Styles 1980. I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, I want you guys to paint with me. So I'm not gonna talk about the techniques of the painting itself, but I am going to talk about techniques such as stress relievers and things like that. Painting was very relaxing and calming for me, and I hope you guys just watching this video, you guys would get that calming and relaxed feel as well so you guys know I've been going through a lot lately and you know all I want right now is peace of mind and I just want to be stress-free as you guys know if you've been watching my videos I've been getting into yoga and trying to exercise on a more regular basis and that's been very relaxing for me and pretty awesome but you know sometimes you want to do something different you know so I said why not painting um, I remember when I was a child I used to love drawing like I drew all the time but sometimes when we become adults life become busy we get busy with our children you know our careers and etc etc relationships and the list can go on and on and we forget our inner self we forget our souls and we forget our childlike self, you know? Sometimes you have to go back to that inner peace, that childlike self. When I say childlike self, you know when you was five, six, seven, you was not afraid of anything. And you would just dance in the rain. And you wasn't afraid that you was going to get a cold, you know? You was not afraid. You may be afraid of the dark, but I was about it, you know? <laughs> But life was just, it was just wonderful. And you didn't have any fears of, oh my goodness, I have to pay this bill. Oh my gosh, I have to do this, I have to do that. It was just go to school, come home, and you was just innocent, you know? That's the word I want to use. You were just innocent. And as we become adults, we are aware of more things. You know, we're aware that, you know, you could get hurt or you could be robbed or whatever the case may be. So you lose your imagination, you know, you lose the fact that, you know what, I can be fearless. I don't have to be afraid. I could do this. I could stand on my own two feet. So um, I was very inspired by, you know, the things that have been going on in my own personal life that I was like, you know what, this is the painting that I want to do. I want to do a painting of a young woman standing in the rain you know um yes she had the umbrella before by her man but you know he's not there but she could still stand in the rain so that's what this um painting is all about um standing on your two feet um standing through the storm and knowing that you can do it and you know have fun with it you know that's why she's in the rain and she's dancing away um, she's a ballerina and she's fabulous and she's doing her so um, This is what this painting is all about. Um, so yeah, um, I want to talk more about the childhood thing um, You know not being afraid as a child and things like that and My son the other day was asking me. He was like mommy. Um, my friends are telling me there's no Santa Claus, you know um, they don't believe in Santa Claus, and I'm like, there is Santa Claus. I don't know what your friend's talking about, but there is a Santa Claus. You know, the reason why I tell my kids, you know, there's a Santa Claus, there's the Tooth Fairy, um, you know, I believe in princess and all that jazz, um, because when you're a child, in my opinion, I know everyone is different, everyone raised their kids differently, but I do feel like kids should be able to have that innocence, you know? Because when you're older, you know it's out the window. So I feel like every child should have that innocence. And I remember when I was a kid, I was very gullible, <laughs> very innocent. Um, I believed everyone. And I believe that, you know, a man's going to come and take care of you and all of that good stuff. So I feel like um, when you become an adult, you lose that um, because reality hit. So why not let a child have, you know, their innocence as long as you can keep it there? So 
I was like, yeah, there is a Santa Claus. So you tell your friend, you know, whatever. If you don't believe in it, that's his problem. <laughs> well, I do understand why parents um, tell their kids, you know, there's no such thing. But in my household, Santa Claus is coming every year until they're, you know, 13 or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. Not until they're 13, but you get the drift. So, guys, I just want you guys to understand that it's okay to be fearless, you know? Um, everything is temporary. We're not going to go through the pain forever. Whatever your situation may be, it could be a breakup. It could be a loss of a job. It could be a loss of a friend or um, actual death, like someone maybe passed away, um, you know? You have to stand in the rain and you have to be graceful about it and you have to be grateful for what you do have you know don't focus on the loss so much focus on the family and friends that are there for you um, focus on your support system focus on what's important you know um, don't focus on things that is going to make you more miserable or keep you down or make you lose your focus on yourself because at the end of the day it's not important you know and I was talking about this on my Facebook actually I had put a post that um, when you lose when you focus on other people or whatever you know people that's not important um, you lose focus on yourself you know and I was saying that it's just like, you know, having your camera and you see this old tire on the side of the street, on the side of the road, and you decide to take a picture of that old, used, worn out, no good <laughs> tire. Um, but then you miss the beautiful bird with all the different colors flying through because you were so focused on that tire you know so don't focus on things that has no purpose um focus what's a beautiful focus what's going to take you to the next level of your life focus on what's important like your family you know your education your goals and things like that stay away from the drama don't focus on negative people you guys know what to focus on and what not to. So I know I don't have to go through all of that. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I did do a couple other paintings. Um, so if you like this one, click on the link below and you'll see the other paintings. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.